Welcome to the kingdom. Hello and praise the Lord. Love, peace, and blessings to all of you and grace, grace to you and your families. I'm Pastor Fred Moore and I have the privilege of being the pastor of the Kingdom of God Christian Center in Round Rock, Texas, a suburb of Austin, Texas. Let me say, we want to thank those of you that have subscribed and share us with your families and we want to encourage the others. Would you be a blessing and share this podcast with your family and friends? Again, like a good restaurant, if it has been a blessing to you, we believe that it will be a blessing to your family and friends. And don't forget that we want to extend an invitation for you to come and celebrate with us as we celebrate our 27th year church anniversary on January the 15th at 11 a.m. Our guest speaker will be none other than the Dr. Gregory Crew from our home church, the Christian House of Press. So consider joining with us. Amen. Let's get ready to get into our seal. I thought as we continue to build on what we've been teaching. Father, we thank you for our time together. Our prayer is simple. Let the Holy Spirit lead us, guide us, and influence us. And have your way in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, beloved, the text for our seal, I thought, is Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 11 through 13. Again, you're going to always find that this preacher is going to read you the word. Why? Because I'm not giving you a lecture or a speech. I'm trying to give you the word from the Lord. That's what you need. The word from the Lord, a message from the Lord. You know, it's like the uh, in, in the book of Ezekiel, I think it is, where they, the, the guy would come to the watchman and he would say, watchman, what of the night? What of the night? What is he requiring? He's want to know, what is God saying? What is God saying? And I'm endeavoring to give you the word of the Lord as he gives it to me. In Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 11 through 13, we find these words. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Jeremiah, what seest thou? And I said, I see a rod of an almond tree. Then said the Lord unto me, Thou hast well seen, for I will hasten my word to perform it. And the word of the Lord came unto me the second time, saying, what seest thou? And I said, I see a seething pot, and the face thereof is toward the south. We've been developing in this new year of 2023, this seal, I thought, new year, new you, new view. New year, new you, and new view. So far, we've given you new year seal, I quotes and scripture promises. And then we begin to say that we must have a proper view in three key areas. We must have a proper view in three key areas. We said the first area was a proper view of God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We gave you scripture references to that, but I want to get to this one and park here again for just a few more minutes because my godson and I agreed after we went off our last podcast that this is where a lot of you are struggling. The second area, a proper view of ourselves a proper view of ourselves. The text that we used was when the 12 spies had come back to Moses and the camp. Moses had sent them to spy. Watch this. Moses had sent them to spy out the land and they was coming back to give Moses and the children of Israel a report. And we're going to pick up the narrative in Numbers chapter 13. And then I'll get into some things that me and my godson believe that the Lord would have you guys to hear in this one. Numbers 13, 25, the common English Bible says, they returned from exploring the land after 40 days. They went directly to Moses, Aaron, and the entire Israelite community in the Paran Desert at Kadesh. They brought back a report to them and the entire community and showed them the land's fruit. Remember we said the Lord doesn't intend, doesn't show you something he doesn't intend for you to have. Verse 27, they gave their report. We entered the land to which you sent us. It's actually full of milk and honey, and this is the fruit of it. There are, however, powerful people who live in the land. The cities have huge fortifications, and we have saw the descendants of, of the Anakites there, Anakites, some are Anakites there, and the Amalekites live in the land of the arid southern plain. The Hittites, the Jebusites, and the Amorites live in the mountains, and the Canaanites live by the sea, and along, and along the Jordan. Watch this. Now, Caleb calmed the people before Moses and said, we must go up and take possession of it because we are more than able. 
We are more than able. I'm going somewhere. But the men who went up with him said, we can't go up against the people because they are stronger than we are. Watch this. They started a rumor about the land that they had explored, telling the Israelites the land that we crossed over to explore is a land that devours its residents and all the people we saw in it are huge men. Now watch this. We saw there the Nephilim, the descendants of Anak come from Nephilim. We listen, verse 33, we saw ourselves as grasshoppers and that's how we appeared to them. We saw ourselves, notice the order, we saw ourselves as grasshoppers and that's how we appeared to them. We went off there and me and my godson began to explore that a lot of God's people have low self-esteem. Watch this. A lot of God's people are full of insecurity. And then I said to you when we went off the air and my godson began to quote a scripture to you that I'm going to quote to you in a minute. I said to you, don't let the fact that God has made you a confident person, don't let people who are insecure in themselves, listen, say to you, you are arrogant. See, what they see as arrogant is just confidence. What they see as arrogance is just confidence. And this is what me and my godson begin to discuss when we went up there because he said, uh, God, Dad, this is what they need to hear. Watch this now about your insecurities and about your, listen, low self-esteem. He quoted this scripture to me from the book of 1 John. This is the confidence that we have in him. That if we ask anything according to his will, he not only hear us, but we have the petitions that we desire of him. But the A portion is where it says, this is the confidence that we have. Paul, to echo to that God's son, said this of himself uh, to the Philippian people. He says, being confident, being confident of this very thing. What, Paul? That he that hath begun a good work in you. God wants us confident that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it unto the day of the Lord Jesus Christ. Then Proverbs said it, says it this way. Listen now, listen. He says, be not fearful when certain desolation shall come. For the Lord shall be thy confidence and keep thy foot from being taken. Oh, that's good stuff right there. The Lord shall be, see what some people see as arrogance. It's not confidence. And what you do, God has graced you to do it. And some people say, yeah, they do it, but they so arrogant. No, 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 no. It's called confidence. See, when David went to confront Goliath and Saul and his brothers told him he didn't have a chance in heaven against, watch this, against Goliath, what did David do? He displayed confidence. And how did he have it? He said, the same God, I'm about to get happy all over again, the same God that delivered me from the paw of the lion and the paw of the bear shall deliver me from this uncircumcised Philistine. That's called confidence. Not in myself, but in my God. You think about that. And we pray that God deliver all of us from self, low self-esteem and insecurity. This is Pastor Fred Moore. This has been C. Lot Moses with Pastor Fred Moore. Love, peace, and blessings, beloved.